before we pitch the megalodon against any prehistoric or living behemoth, let us briefly examine the resume of this incredible marine beast. The megalodon could grow to 65 feet, that's about 20 meters in length. Each could have easily weighed as much as 40 tons. The name megalodon literally means mega tooth, with its tooth being three times the length of that of a modern day great white. Each tooth measures up to 18 centimeters or 7 inches in vertical length, making it even larger than some human adult hands. There are about 276 such teeth arranged in five rows, which deliver a bite force of up to 180,000 newtons. It could have literally crushed cars with its teeth. That's the strongest known bite force of any known animal, extinct or alive. Having briefly examined Megalodon's arsenal, what do its challengers possess? First up is the Leviathan, which is sometimes called Leviathan. This apex predator was an ancestor of modern sperm whales. With the first fossil unearthed in November 2008, the Leviathan is a great megalodon challenger on our list today. Scientists believe that the Leviathan must have grown to be as long as 57 to 60 feet, or 17 to 18 meters. This makes it more or less just as long as the megalodon. The first fossil, mainly head and jaw, with the head being about 9 feet, a bit less than 3 meters, while its robust looking jaws are lined with 40, 36 centimeter, 14 inches long teeth. It reached speeds up to 45 kilometers per hour, or 28 miles per hour. Liviaton and Megalodon both lived in the Pliocene, were found in all oceans of the world, grew to about the same length, and hunted several similar preys. Hence, they may even have fought occasionally. Being at par in size, the Megalodon had five times more teeth, while the Liviaton's teeth were twice the length of that of the Meg. There is no fair estimate of Liviaton's bite force due to insufficient fossils. However, that of the Megalodon would probably still be bigger. The Megalodon also wins in terms of speed, and when coupled with the fact that the Liviaton had to surface every two hours for air, we can predict that Megatooth must have won most of the fights. However, if Liviaton hunted like its modern-day sperm whale relatives, then its pod hunting activities would give it a good advantage over the Megalodon. There is no way that one Megalodon could take on several Liviatons at once. Worthy of consideration next is Mosasaurus, a prehistoric marine reptile which hunted the oceans of Western Europe and North America. It lived about 85 to 65 million years ago, meaning that it was long extinct before Megalodon even showed up. But then, if they had met, with what would the Mosasaurus have been able to challenge Megatooth? It was at par in length with Megalodon, as it measured up to 60 feet, or 18 meters, in length. However, its 40 to 50 conical-shaped teeth were smaller and fewer. Like the Liviaton, Mosasaurus also had to regularly surface for air, even though it was the apex predator during its time, and probably more agile than Megalodon could have been, it had a comparably slender body, lesser bite force, and could not dive as deep as Megalodon could. It certainly would be a close battle, but Megalodon probably would still win on average against the infamous Jurassic World superstar. Dinosuchus is yet another possible challenger. This crocodile lived approximately 85 to 70 million years ago in the waters of North America, and it was an apex predator like none other. It never met Megalodon either. However, its name, Dinosuchus, literally means fearsome or terrible crocodile. It was such a formidable predator to the extent that it left its bite marks on two fossilized North American Tyrannosauruses. So it even had the notorious T-Rex on its menu. Dinosuchus could reach lengths of 40 to 43 feet, that's about 12 to 13 meters, making it shorter than Megalodon. 
It also weighed up to 20,000 pounds, about 9 tons, being much lighter than Megalodon. While it was smaller in size than Megalodon, it nonetheless had no difficulty in hunting the T-Rex. It had an over 6 feet, about 2 meters long skull and tough knobby armor covering its body. It packed a bite force of up to 100,000 newtons. A Dinosuchus might be a terrible crocodile for the T-Rex and most other animals that ever lived, but would have been no serious match against a full-grown Megalodon. However, that doesn't mean that it could not win. Megalodon would win most of the fights, but it could take some serious damage or lose every once in a while. Don't underestimate Dinosuchus, one of the largest crocodiles and strongest apex predators Earth has ever seen. While the Dinosuchus might not have much chance against Megalodon, our next challenger could maybe do better. This is none other than the marine reptile Predator X, now officially known as Pleosaurus funci. It is estimated to have measured up to 50 feet or 15 meters in length. This is below Megalodon 65 feet or 20 meters in length. It is estimated to have weighed 30 to 40 tons which makes it about the same with Megalodon. Believed to have existed some 150 million years ago, it means that it had long gone extinct before the Megalodon and as such, they never met. In any case, it probably would not have won the fight, biting off any of Predator X's four flippers and it would probably have drowned. But again, that doesn't mean Megalodon would have had an easy time. There is still a good chance that Megalodon would lose the battle against Predator X every once in a while. Predator X is still considered one of the mightiest marine predators of all time. Next on our list of challengers is the Orca. Regarded as one of the most intelligent animals in the world, you already know quite a good deal about them as we have discussed in another video exclusively on Orcas you will find that video in the info box. Orcas measure up to 33 feet or 10 meters in length and weigh up to a stupendous 5,500 kilograms or 12,000 pounds. Without beating round the bush, a one-on-one -on -one fight between the Orca and Megalodon is a straight win for the Megalodon. Nevertheless, because Orcas often travel in pods, are extremely intelligent and coordinated hunters, six to eight orcas can hunt and overpower even a 20 meter or 65 feet long megalodon. In fact, it is believed that prehistoric orcas, which lived with megalodon, did occasionally team up and hunt megalodon specifically for the meg's oil-rich liver. That would have been a spectacular thing to see. The last formidable challenger is the extinct Triassic octopus, also known as the Triassic Kraken. Theorized by the paleontologist Mark McKinnaman to have existed during the Triassic era somewhere between 250 to 200 million years ago, the first fossil was found in Nevada, United States, estimated to have been up to 30 meters, almost 100 feet in size. The Triassic octopus was much larger than Megalodon. However, it's still debatable if the size estimate is correct. Like modern-day octopi, it would have had eight long tentacles with which it would have stretched and torn preys apart. Each tentacle would have been equipped with nothing less than 280 large suction cups. While it may have easily torn ships apart, just as depicted in Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, it would still have a hard time taking on the Megalodon, as the sheer size and fearsome reputation would not have been enough. Even if it was 10 meters, or a bit over 30 feet larger than Megalodon, it probably still weighed nowhere near Megalodon. Today's giant and colossal squids don't weigh very much in comparison to their size either, so it was probably the same for the Triassic Kraken. However, it was also speculated that this giant might have fed on 45 feet or 14 meters long ichthyosaurs. If this and the size estimation are true, then it would certainly have been a great threat, even for a fully grown megalodon. But what do you think? Which animal could have beaten megalodon? 
Share your opinion in the comments. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.